Hey there, waistcoat. Hey there, waistcoat wonders of the internet. This is the first edition, well, the new edition of Follow Friday. Yes, you thought I'd forgotten about it, but I haven't. I wanted numbers to tally up, and I've already done one Follow Friday, which was about Ben Weir, aka the Headless Ninja. If you have not seen that, link in the doobly doo down below. Go watch it. But this video is going to be about another very close friend of mine who Ben also knows. His name, oh, is Nick. Hello, hey. No, Nick, hello. I keep getting it wrong, but I, I hope I'm getting it right this time. Because Ben and Nick keep keep like correcting me, but they don't tell me I'm wrong. Nick, hello, hey. Yes, that is right. Let's get on with this. Um, his name is Nick Russell. If you do not know who he is, he is a YouTuber who does um, he does some vlogs. He does the drunken vlogs, which we we need to still do on at some point. Um, he does um, some sketches. He does a mixture of things. One of the great things I love about Nick is that he is also a DJ and he not only puts his music out there into the world of YouTube and uh, there'll be a link to his music channel as well down below but also the way he edits his vlogs and his sketch and all his other videos is very like I can see his musical inspirations and his DJ nature in that and for me especially out of the, the close-knit YouTubers that I call friends there's nobody that does that and I want to do that but I don't do it as well, so that's that's a fail. Um, but I feel uh, rather than talking in third person, I'll talk directly to you, Nick Russell. Um, I count you as a friend. The first time we met, I felt I felt a connection with you. So I'm talking to you right now. This is nothing to do with anybody else. Um, I I do. I count you as a very good friend. I think I think we we click. We we get each other. And um, you're helping me out with a few projects, because I can't edit and you can. And I feel comfortable and confident giving that to you. And that is actually something special, because I don't do that with other people. I don't go, here, here's my content. Go and edit, because I'm worried. And you're the first person I've done that with. And I, I take that as a, as a special thing. Um, what else to say? Where, where Nick is going in, in the future, we're moving forward now. I honestly believe Nick, the, the, the kind of the YouTube world is open to him. Because, ladies, he is quite an attractive young man. And that doesn't hurt his cause. If only he could stay away from the al alcoholic truth. No, don't. They're very funny vlogs. I can't speak today. Um... But where's he go? I, I, I think Nick has this really nice um, role for himself which allows for development in terms of putting your music out there. Uh, I want to see more music videos. He posted a music video a little while ago where we, we've had quite a lengthy discussion about kind of what he was trying to get through that and what I perceive through that and what the other people perceive from that. Um, but the point I'd like to go back to is that a music video showed such finesse on editing and on situation you know setting up and and everything that I'm kind of really excited about what other music videos um, can, can come out from from Nick um, the vlogs as well we as I said we're gonna we're gonna have to book a, a an alcoholic vlog because that would be highly entertaining um, yeah and I know probably Nick's the same as me and he does worry about what people think about him and say about him and he wants to be like get the views and get the comments and all this but I love how he seems content not content because he pushes himself he seems he really appreciates the, the the support from the YouTube community and from around him and he gets involved in that and he has no grandiose ideas of where he can go despite having the talent and he looks and he supports his friends on YouTube and for me as I've said in other videos that is such a big part of why I do YouTube the support you get and the support you can give to other people and I think um, I think that's the same for Nick and I don't think he'd ever lose that even if he becomes Mr. Massive Popular uh, he will still be Nick Hello Hey in my heart he will always probably be Nick Hello Hey because it's a really cool channel name and you should never get rid of that channel name but, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. Um, 
I need to book a time to come up and see you, mate. Yeah. Um, to the world of YouTube, I hope that's given a rough outline of what Sir Nick does. Um, it probably hasn't. It's probably said more about my fan, fan, fanboy, fan man, fan man. That's for Steve, that is. Um, yeah, I do. I fan man over over Nick, very much so. Um, I, I have no no negative feelings about that. But yes, um, link as I said before down in the in the comments to his channel. Go check him out. His videos are quick, snappy. You know, you're not looking at videos for, apart from the drunken videos. Not looking at videos that are too long, and you can get a really good feel of. Um, of, of the quality that Nick does because every video he puts out there is of a high quality and it's gripping and entertaining and it'll make you laugh it'll make you cry I'm sure and it'll make you feel pitiful for him when he's been drinking um, I make you sound like an alcoholic he's not he just does really good vlogs when he's drunk make from that what you will uh, alright guys um, until I see you next I have been Waistcoat Dave, you have been the Waistcoated Wanderers of the Internet. I'll be seeing you soon. Tura.